how to make banana scones. Now I want to say real quick that this scone recipe is different than my other scone recipe, so I encourage you to try both and see which one you like better. In a medium sized bowl, add two cups of flour. That's one. That's two. Add one tablespoon of baking powder. Add three fourths teaspoons of salt. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Add a fourth cup of white sugar. And add two tablespoons of brown sugar. That's one. That's two. Whisk until well combined. Next, you want to get a half a cup or eight tablespoons of frozen butter and grate it into your flour mixture. To make sure it's completely frozen, I actually put this in the night before. Once you've got all your butter grated in, go in with your hands and give this mixture a toss, breaking up any clumps if they form from the butter. Just give it a good toss, give it a good mix, break up any clumps that form. Now putting our mixture to the side for a second, you want to dice up one ripe banana. The outside should be brown, the inside should not be. First I'm going to cut it into thin rings like this. Now I'm going to take each one and cut it into fourths. Add your diced bananas into your flour mixture. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then set this aside for a second and grab yourself a small bowl. Don't mind the mess, I had the butter in here for a minute. In this small separate bowl, you're going to add a half a cup of sour cream and a fourth cup of heavy cream. Mix until well combined. Add your sour cream mixture to your flour mixture. Whisk well to combine, being very careful not to overmix. Better yet, just go in with your hands. It'll be a lot easier and you won't struggle so much. When you're done mixing your dough together, pour it out onto an unfloured work surface quickly and carefully without quickly and carefully without overworking the dough pat it out into a one inch thick round cut your dough into triangles transfer your triangles to a tin foil greased um, baking sheet I'm using wax paper you can use that as well if you want Feel free to either brush on milk on top of these or egg wash and bake for 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes or until golden. When your scones are golden on the top and the bottom, you want to take them out of the oven and let them cool down. Wait for them to cool down for a couple of minutes and enjoy. Nice and soft and moist on the inside, nice light crunch on the outside, so good, I recommend.